What's up everybody, my name is James Shaw, and this is my 2021 Airstream Base Camp. Let's go and check it out. Are they marketing this as an overland trailer? So they're marketing it as the outdoor go-getter trailer, the trailer that you're going to take off the pavement and ride it on some gravel roads, some dirt roads. You know, it's not your pavement princess. It's more of a go out, get a little dirty. It's not a rock crawling machine. So before all you keyboard warriors go out there and be like, you know, I can't take this out on my favorite trail. Of course not. I'm taking it down your average gravel road and you know, just hitting campsites that most other people can't get to. I mean, if I wanna go and hit one of those trails, then I just unhitch, you know, it's called a base camp. So I have been collecting Airstreams for about three or four years now. I've got about nine of them. I buy them and we rent them. So basically what we're looking for is people that have always wanted to go camping, but didn't want to A, pull a trailer or set up or worry about their awning or fire and all of that. So basically you show up with the key and at the end of the weekend, you leave me the key, I come and pick it up and take it to my next client. And so it's turnkey camping. That's, that's what I do. Got a 1960 all the way through 75. I had the opportunity to go across the country and uh, go to an, a vintage trailer Airstream class. And I was like, well, what do I wanna pull? And I was like, well, I'm not sure. I wanna take something out of my wheelhouse, whereas I'm not the best with axles and tires yet. So I got to thinking and I was like, I need a new one. It was the last Airstream base camp on the East Coast. They told me I had 20 minutes to decide if I wanted it because someone else was at the front door wanting it. And I was like, well, I guess we're getting it and we're gonna roll with it. So I, I got it and I have put 10,000 miles on it in the last three months. And I think it's been to 22 states. Basically it is lifted four, four inches um, from factory ride height. So that is what makes this more of an overland off-road machine. So basically what you can do right here is they put the back hatch so you can back into if there's a sweet mountain range or if you're backing up to the water, you can open it. Or if you want to load your bike into it or your kayak or whatever you're into. Got a bug net right here so I can keep the door open and not have the pesky flies fly in. Welcome to the inside of the base camp. So basically what's going on here is if you're sleeping with a buddy and you don't want to get super close to him, you can sleep in the more of a twin style where the cushions come off. Or if you're sleep, sleeping with someone that you don't care about sleeping close to, this whole space right here uh, turns into a full queen size bed and it's super comfortable. We'll see the stash down here, super sweet. It's like throw two tables down here or if you wanted to delete that one, it's super configurable to whatever you're trying to do. We've also got two gear bunks in the back. I decided to go red because that's just a sweet color. I've also got some sweet Brog gear hanging. Um, this is the cheese it holder. And then we've also got a tool roll, but I'm gonna turn it into more of uh, just your electronics and whatever else that is grab and go. I keep my clothes in these uh, REI, uh, I guess, pouches, if that's what you wanna call it. Just trying to keep it fairly clean and simple and simplistic in here. So as we move further back into it, we've got a full wet bath. So what you got is you've got a toilet and then you've got a shower. Right here, I just run all of my basic electronics that um, I need to plug in into the Yeti 1500 lithium battery. It's pretty sweet. You can move it onto the floor for once I start traveling and moving. And then we move into my favorite part that is your kitchen area. I've got the Dometic stove double burner and then we've got a 12 volt and ac fridge right there then all of the kitchen cabinets and stuff is right here i call that my coffee cabinet as you can see it's a full panoramic window so if i was to pull in straight somewhere and i have a sweet mountain range or whatever else is going on i can see it really well and all the windows black out so at night i can make this thing look like there's nothing outside, so that's pretty cool. On board, it has got, I believe, a 25 gallon fresh water, 35 gallon just waste tank. It's also got 150 watts of solar on top, which is plenty to keep the batteries topped off. It's got heat, which runs off the propane. It's got an AC, which does not work when I'm out boondocking. Gotta be plugged in for that. So as we move around to the front of the trailer, uh, of course, I've got my Scottle. You can't be an overland guru without the Scottle. And then as we move to the very front of the trailer, which is what I call my garage, you know, I just keep the power cable and water filter, some ratchet straps, 
but the stuff that when I am on the grid, that is nice to have. So in the bottom half is two, I believe, either 10 or 15 gallon propane canisters. Hope you enjoyed my Airstream base camp as much as I do. Um, you can check me out at expedition underscore 4WD on Instagram, and you can check me out at James Shaw on YouTube. That's basically where you find me.